Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part, we were traveling through the BIOS domain when we stopped at the strange room because, well, I said we were going to stop. And, uh, well, there's a few things I need to talk about. One, we're out of EP, so we're not going to be able to finish this dungeon. I mean, we have a little bit, but we won't be able to get to the boss. And two, we're not strong enough to finish this dungeon. Not because of the boss, but because of this guy right here. Yeah, we can recruit him, but we're going to need stronger Digimon. We're going to need to Digivolve our guys, and they're not quite strong enough yet, so we're going to have to grind a little bit. So we're going to have to run through this dungeon another time, and then uh, di go out to Digivolve, and then come back. So this, I guess you could technically call this grinding, but it's not very, like, hardcore grinding, and it will be one of the few times that I do ground grind on uh, camera, so... If it's boring grinding that takes like, you know, hours, I'm definitely not going to have it. But this will only take like five to ten minutes. So, one episode. And at the end of it, we will have a uh, boss as well as, you know, that mini boss that you just saw. Hmm. I think you can. Oh, you cannot. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Gotta remember, uh, when your inventory is full, to sell it or get rid of it or transfer it to your server or something. Because I completely forgot. Uh, transferred all those. Don't need that right now. I'll keep you guys. So, we don't really need those toy cars right now because we have a toy plane. And as long as he takes the toy plane, we are good to go. The toy plane gives a high 80, per, high 80 or 90 percent. But it's a diminishing return, so if we were to get closer to that 100 percent mark, it never truly hits 100 percent, but it gets awfully close. Now, in this first fight, we're just going to wipe the floor with this Crabmon. gonna be no match for us. Dead on arrival. I, I, let's see if Snow, Snow Go Burymon can take him out. Weakest person in our group can take him out. Yeah, that's how weak Crabmon is. I know Snow Go Burymon is level 9, but still. Give me Devimon's level 10! So he will get to level at the next level, 11. As you saw with uh, Metal Greymon, he was level 21, which is the minimum level for a ultimate level Digimon. Oh, nothing was damaged. Okay, I, I did this last time where I forgot that that was a uh, dead end. That's probably why we're out of EP. So, another mine. Couldn't really do anything about that mine. MP disc. Could have been a toy car. We could always use more toy cars. Toy cars are very helpful until you have uh, access to a certain area. But we'll talk more about that when we get there, won't we? Another free chest. What's inside? You. Another MP disc. Uh, he's useful. If for only the bits that we're gonna get when we sell it. Oh, another one. Empty. Nope. Next fix. I was gonna say I could see them trolling us with an empty one there. All right. Next floor is where we're gonna start uh, actually grinding looking for enemies. Oh wow, this floor was completely empty. Huh. Sometimes you get that where there's just the completely empty floors. Alright, don't really need that EP back. Ooh, and we even got the floor panel here to help us. 
So we're gonna get into a double battle, which they don't really both attack us at once. It's just you fight two battles back to back, so. No danger about getting freaking completely owned. Alright, let's give Demi Devamon. That should take out Florimon. And if you ever hear this jingle, well, I'll wait till the sound's half, not on. If you ever hear this jingle, it's the sound of my ice water, because I'm very thirsty while I play games. Alright. Die. Okay, she's gonna use r rain pollen or pollen rain. It sounds like energy shower. See? Hot fire! Okay, now that I've hear, hear it again, it does actually sound more like bomb fire. That makes more sense. Oh, no, we don't need you. There we go. So Floramon's a little bit tougher than I thought. But she's not too powerful. Oh, a little drop in performance there, huh? I dropped a frame. What do I do? Alright, you're next, Floramon type. For some reason, this wild battle has felt like it's taken forever. Which is not good. Alright, the other two should level up now. Yep. Uh... Five more battles, huh? That's actually quite a while, so maybe I will skip ahead. I didn't want to do all this grinding on screen. Eh. I think now that I uh, got that, now I know that I should uh, use Snow Gorbori. I shouldn't use Snow Gorbori on Florimon. I think this battle will go quicker if I do it. That lovely sparkly bolt. Die. Alright. So at least we know that the combination does kill it faster. And that does not do any damage, luckily. You're weakling! Weakling! And... over? Yeah, okay. So that went way smoother than the last battle. And now we'll go on to the other floor, which will give us an extra few experience, I think. I don't think they're anything too much tougher. Unless no enemies spawn, in which case I'm gonna be... S yeah. Oh, great. No energy s or no enemies spawn on that floor. Okay, good. We found a room. We have found plenty of enemies now. All right, so same thing as last time. Fortunately, there's no way to skip these animations. You just kind of gotta roll with them. Just roll with the flow. Stay down, Florimon. Stay down. Good girl. 
I wonder which Candlemon is real. Is it the flame or is it the candle? I don't know. Guess it doesn't matter because this one's gonna die. Oh, he survived one technique. Amazing. But not that one. Alright, let's see how much experience the other ones need. So, three more battles. So we got these two, and then we gotta find another one. Hmm. Well, I think I will cut out some of this grinding, so I'm gonna cut it here. Be right back. Okay, with that battle, we should be good for all of our levels, and now we can digivolve them. Yay, they're all level 11, which is what we wanted. Alright, so let's go back to Digital City. If I wanted, I guess I could have recruited a data Digimon and transferred it in, but, you know. YOLO, what we're gonna do? Alright, so... One quick thing to note about the Digivolution system. Well, a few things. The... Digival uh, the guard team that you join can only digivolve Digimon that are of the same type and the type that you're strong against. They will not digivolve the type that you are weak against. Remember that. Second, Digimon do not digivolve exactly the way you would expect them to. Like, for instance, uh, Devimon will Demi Devimon will not digivolve to Devimon. No. He will not. And Snokoburimon, I don't know what you would expect him to digivolve to, but he actually probably does. Betamon does not digivolve to who he actually does. Snow Go or regular Goburimon does not digivolve to who he usually does. And now that I'm here, I realize that if I, uh, that I forgot to transfer him over to the server, which uh, you can give to the guard to get rid of him if you feel like you want to get rid of him. Now, what it digivolves to depends on a number, and that number is shown... Hmm, does it not... It might not show unless you DNA digivolved once. But it's it's called DP, and it's what is... Uh, how many times your Digimon has digi, uh, DNA digivolved. Since they have not DNA digivolved, they have no DP. And so they will always digivolve with whatever as at zero DP. So as for what that is, or maybe it starts at one. Either way, the the default one always de digivolves to the same. And the higher it is, the stronger or rarer, I guess, the Digimon that it digivolves to. Example: Digimon. He will digivolve to Ice Devimon. So we do want to proceed. And so we get Ice Devimon. And as you can see, his name is still Demi Devimon. There's no changing that, unfortunately. Snoko Burimon, well, did you evolve to Hyogamon? That one is kind of, you know, more expected. And my personal favorite. Betamon will digivolve to D Tyranomon. Yeah, he digivolves to the yeah Dark Tyranomon, which is not expected. But they don't have any new techniques just yet. All digivolve yeah all Digimon did you eh, all Digimon learn their new move at level twelve or level 2 of whatever their subs... I cannot talk right now. 
they basically learn a move one level after they can digivolve to. So uh, in this case, it'd be 12. Ultimate's case would be 22. And Mega's chase would be 32. So remember that. They will not learn it unless you digivolve them to it. So let us head that way. Now that we have digivolved them, they are strong enough to take on Metal Greymon. Let's get to it. I once again did not clean out my inventory, so I cannot pick up any chests. I am stupid. Let's continue. Uh, so, we're once again going through this dungeon, and this will be probably not the last time ever, but it will be one of the last times. And we know not to go to the right now. So no going right. There will be a mine here, usually. Nope. Oh, is it here? It's here. There we go. Nothing happened, though. And an empty treasure chest. Aren't they so kind? It's so kind is to give us nothing. Ooh, HP driver. Okay, HP drivers are pretty helpful. Unlike their MP counterpart. Uh, gonna have to get rid of it. Discard, MP disc one. I want that HP driver. Alright. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but uh, drivers heal everybody while discs only heal one person, so... That's what's the difference between those two. And I do not like this room. There we go. Much better. I could probably learn their new move and then go after him. Hmm. I'm gonna have to face these guys. I could go to the other way, but... I have a feeling that I have to go this way. Ah, screw it. Fight! Well, I was going to cut this out, but I decided, never mind. We're just going to uh, take them out because we'll get to see our uh, new Digivolved Digimon in their full glory. So he was hitting, what, 19 before? Let's see what he hits now. Oh, okay, maybe he was not hitting 19. Any Kamehameha's? Well, what's really funny is watching uh, Dark Tyrannomon make this noise. This is pretty funny. <laughs> so, the calls change, or the calls do not change, while their digivolutions do change. So that's, that's kind of funny. So they're always going to make the same sound, no matter which Digimon you put them on. Which can make you have really powerful Digimon have really stupid noises, so. Hey, Ogamon's like, I don't know which Garen is. Got his derp face on. So, while that was the first battle with our newly acquired Digimon, I'm going to cut the other ones out, and I will I will return when we're actually uh, starting to head towards Metal Greymon, so be right back. Alright guys, and we're back, and that should be level 12 for all of them. Yep, there we go. And so unfortunately... He learns Water Ray. What does it do? Adds water effects to attack. So, he does not actually get an attack, which is okay. Demi Dart's actually pretty good because it lowers MP. And uh, you could choose separately if you learn multiple techniques this way, or you can use them all. And you can only have so many techniques. I forget if it's eight or what it is, but it's somewhat like eight. Alright, uh, 
Rio uh Biba Debridu Hyogamon learns reinitialize, which resets foes first parameters, which means just resets uh foes enemy. Like if he raises his attack, you will get rid of it. And the only actual move that our champions have learned, new wise, is Fire Blast, which does flame damage to all foes. So it has a high MP cost, but it does damage to everybody and it's decent power. Electroshock is good if you're still attacking one enemy, like, uh, Metal Greymon. <laughs> so, now that we have completed our training, we can go and take on that big boy. So let's head out. Let's see what's in this trap first. MP disc. Too bad we don't need you. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of EP left compared to what we had last time, so that's good. Very good. All right, so let's head on out to Metal Greymon. Uh, just to be sure to make sure there's nothing good in these chests. HP driver. Once again, I am going to get rid of an MP driver. Discard, or an MP disc, I mean. Because drivers are very, very helpful. Unable to move, I have a better there. Yeah, the unable to move thing is... Oh, shoot. Don't want to do that too many times. I only have 300 more HP. Uh, I hit a trap while... Okay. While I was off camera. Sometimes those can damage your Digi Beetle, and I was just like, Oh, man, did I just screw that up? Alright. And there's one more thing that can go wrong here. He could, he could uh, not accept our presence, which is bad. So... Please take our toy plane. Yay, he took it. So that's like 75% or something. So let's take another one. This pushes up just a little bit more. Or he ignores it. Oh well. It's now or never. Let's go. Fight with Metal Greymon. Go. Alright, so he is a ultimate level Digimon, so we gotta be careful. And, uh, Water Ray, Water Ray won't do anything unless we're on a water specialty floor. So, no point in using that. And I can show you the, uh, damage difference with Fire Blast and Electric Shock. Fire Blast. Fire Blast would do- oh, and here's his moves. He has an Interrupt, Horn Buster. Which I believe is less powerful, but lowers your technique power, so I'm not going to hit as hard now. Yeah, see, I freaking hit a three. That's ridiculous. Here's his Fire Blast. Which actually sounds like Fire Blast. And I hit a nine. That's awesome. And Strike Bolt, which always sucks, is going to hit an eight. So, let's try it again. This time I'm going to use Electric Shock. It always defaults to the first one. And he's going to interrupt me, so you're not going to be able to tell how much stronger it is. Unless it does, like, a lot of damage over this one. And it does four, so it, it did more damage than Demi Dart. That's at least something. Uh, strike, Bolt Strike does more damage than you when you have lower technique power. So let's see what we're going to actually hit here. Can we at least hit over 10? 13, I'll take that. So, uh, being an ultimate level Digimon, he is pretty much a tank. So we're just going to have to whittle down his HP. The biggest thing that we needed when we leveled up and Digivolved was the HP and the defense. So, uh, this interrupting is annoying. Because... He's also strong against us because he's vaccine type, so that doesn't help things. Alright, attack him. They're still whittling it down. Getting closer. Uh, I might want to check on Dark Tyrannomon's HP if he has less than 46. Now nah, we're good. One more attack. Unless... 
even if he uses his other technique, I don't think that he could kill uh, Dark Tyranimal yet. Alright, you can interrupt uh, Hyogamon. I don't freaking care about him. I bet I'm going to hit a 2 now, though. That's how weak he is normally. Yep, I told you. Now, go Devimon. Alright, should be under health half now. Oh, now we get to see his, uh, which one's stronger. Electric Shock hits 14, so as you can see, the Electric Shock is a lot stronger. The uh, thing that Fire Blust has over it is the fact that it hits three enemies, so technically it would do more damage if we had more enemies on the field. Uh, this is an interrupt again. I'm surprised he's not using his other technique yet. We're definitely going to have to heal after this, though. And what do you got? Could probably go without it. Let's do this. I'm taking a risk here. Because if he attacks with uh, his main technique and hits Betamon, he is screwed. Okay, good. good. Luckily, we're taking advantage of the fact that he's always using his interrupt by guarding, and he can't interrupt guards, so... But he does have another normal technique that he's just, for some reason, not using. He usually spams that more than he does Hornbuster. Hmm. Still gonna guard again. Still taking a risk, but I don't care. Bring it on. Another interrupt. Uh. He's taking my damage, making me go so low. But this is what you would expect from an ultimate level Digimon, I mean. And this is just a random battle, he's not a boss or anything. I guess he could be considered a mini-boss. But he doesn't have, like, any boosted stats. And he can still, uh... If we beat him, he could still not help us if he feels like it. Oh, 40... You know what? Go for it. Oh, he's using it. There it is, Gigablet. Oh, and he used it on Betamon. So Betamon loses out on quite a bit of experience. That's uh, not great. But at least he's down and hopefully he'll join our team. Yay, he joined our team. Yes, so we have an ultimate level Digimon on our team. Which is good, considering he just wiped out half of our other team. So let's change our Digiline real quick. So, uh... Oh, it automatically puts the uh, incapacitated Digimon out of the Digiline. Forgot about that. Oh no, it didn't. What? Why didn't it let me pick him then? Give me Devmon, Metal Greymon, and... Oh, uh, I guess it won't let you, me put the other one in there because he is passed out. But, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, though. In the next part, I'm going to pick up at this spot. Not this ex spot exactly, but in this area. And then we're gonna head on to finally take the boss on. Which, it's been like two episodes since we started this dungeon. And it's about time we finished him off. So until then, guys, I will see you next time.